Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Synapse to get the uh, depth image and joint information in the Quartz Composer. So the first thing you want to do is go to synapseconnect.tumblr.com and download the Synapse app and the Quartz Composer example plugin project. So what you want to do to install the plugins is go to your user directory, uh, library, graphics, Quartz Composer Plugins, and if you don't have that directory, create it, Quartz Composer Plugins, and put in QC OSC and Synapse Connect Plugins. And then we got to take the Synapse app and find a skeleton. And then we'll open up Quartz Composer. So we'll create a new blank file. Drop in a sprite. So you can see it there. So let's make it fill up the screen. And then drop in the Synapse Connect plugin. Set the image to the sprite image. And there you go. We've got the depth image in Quartz Composer already. Now to get the joint information in there, we want to run the uh, Quartz Path Through app in the zip file. So that's running right now. And then let's let's control a particle system. So we'll create the particle system. You can see it there. Let's give it a little uh, halo image. Set the blend mode to add. All right, so let's have uh, the left hand control uh, the X and Y position of that particle system. So we want to drop in uh, the QCOSC plugin. Uh, set the port to 12348. And you can see it has these uh, ports here for the information coming from the Quartz Pass-Through app. So the left-hand pause screen here, that's a structure with the X, Y, and Z position in screen coordinates. Uh, so X is 0 to 640 and Y is 0 to 480. So to get each individual element, we use the Quartz uh, patch for uh, structure index member. Drop that in. So index 0 is going to be the X value. So we'll hook up the structure here. And now this port here has the X value from 0 to 640. So we need to transform that uh, into negative 1 to 1 space, uh, which is what the quartz wants. So let's drop in a math object. And let's make three of those we'll need. So the first thing we want to do is uh, divide by 640. And then subtract uh, 0.5 into, from negative 0.5 to 0.5, and then multiply by 2. And then we've got it in negative 1 to 1 space. And if we connect that up, and connect that to the particle system's x position, we can see that the hand's x position is now controlling the particle system. Uh, so now let's do the exact same thing for the y. Some slight modifications, so we duplicate that there, pass the structure in, uh, y is at index 1, uh, we want to divide by 480 instead, and then since the y is flipped, we want to uh, multiply by negative 2 instead. Hook that up to the y position, and there you go, now we're controlling the particle system with our hand. So from there, uh, just do whatever you want, and uh, have a great time with Quartz Composer.